Hi, my name is Bill Redman and I am Global Product Manager for Tooling Systems at Kenna Metal. And I'm talking to everyone today about our latest spindle and tooling connection, uh, KM4X. The key to making a spindle connection the most that it can be is adding higher bending moment and higher bending stiffness. What the higher bending stiffness does, it allows you to stay in the cut longer because you don't create any sort of angular forces inside of the spindle. So it wants to continue to rotate. With a high bending moment, you do not deform the spindle connection, which puts pressure on the bearings in the spindle. When you get a spindle overload error, it's because the bearings don't want to spin. With a higher bending moment, the tool wants to stay flat. It doesn't want to cock to a side. So that in turn keeps everything balanced and symmetrical inside of the spindle which lets it spin freely and reduces spindle overloads. Another aspect uh, that we incorporated was mechanical advantage in the ball tracks. So the way the spindle works is you have your traditional draw bar that pulls back on the clamping unit. Um, in most spindles there are fingers that expand as you pull the draw bar back. Our approach is using four hardened ball bearings on a ball track and this ball track because it has an angle it acts as a lever so on our 63 millimeter format our ratio on the lever is 4.8 to 1 so to do some easy math with a 20 kilonewton drawback force will create a 100 kilonewton clamping force on the tool on our 100 millimeter format that is four to one. So again, another quick math, a 20 kilonewton force on your draw bar creates an 80 kilonewton force on your clamping. What that does, obviously, it helps create that bending stiffness that we really want in heavy applications. Another benefit uh, because of the high clamping force is our RPM capabilities. Our 63 format can spin at 38,000 RPM and our 100 format can spin at 22,000 RPM. On the other side of the display, I can show a little bit of the format sizes. This is our 63 millimeter format, this is our 100 millimeter, and this is our 125 millimeter. It copies most essentially HSK's standard DIN sizes to keep it easy for the machine tool builders to incorporate it in their system. Another thing that we also did is the flange width and the V groove on the flange are the same DIN standard as HSK. So what we've been able to do is retrofit HSK machines out in the field when customers want stronger connections. So we've done about 60 retrofits in the field of former HSK machines to KM4X100 connections. It's also nice about the 63 system as we've had questions about what is it going to do with your existing KM system. Well, if anything, it's going to enhance it. This is a standard KM4X63 static turning head, but what we've done is we've opened up our KM product line to be incorporated with the KM4X line. So this is a KM4X63 to KM63 adapter. We have probably about 2,000 KM63 tools that now we can incorporate in the KM4X line. And they'll also show the versatility and the strength of the connection. We took a KM4X63 back end to a KM adapter, and this is a KM63 anti-vibration boring bar. And then we, mod we took that down to a KM40 turning head. So when you stack all of this together, it came out to be 26 and a half inches of boring bar. We loaded it on our machine. We cut a stainless steel eight inch internal bore and it worked great.